Hello, this is Diesel Steam. Apollo 20, the mission when NASA recovered alien technology from the moon. According to reports, the so-called Apollo 20 mission wasn't only an American mission but was in fact a joint venture between the Soviets and the USA. The mission took place, according to reports in 1976. Whether or not the mission did take place remains a profound mystery. For most of us, the idea that secretive missions to the moon took place is something extremely hard to believe. Especially, when you add to that story that the alleged missions recovered alien technology from so-called alien structures on the moon. While many believe that the idea of Apollo 20 existing is just another conspiracy theory, there are many people around the globe who believe something like this is entirely possible and there is evidence to back up such missions. In today's world, ufologists who are trying to get to the bottom of the UFO phenomenon are having a very hard time because of the numerous conspiracy theories and hoaxes circulating around the web. Officially, NASA ended its Apollo program with the Apollo 17 mission even though they had planned further missions to the moon with the Apollo 18, 19, and 20 missions. While these emissions never took place officially, many people believe that in secrecy, NASA commanded three more missions to the moon where astronauts allegedly explored ancient structures on the lunar surface and recovered alien technology. One of the most interesting quotes about alien structures on the surface of the moon comes from Dr. Brandenburg. Dr. Brandenburg, who has a PhD in plasma physics, and is a consultant at Morningstar Applied Physics LLC, and part-time instructor of astronomy, physics, and mathematics at Madison College, has given what some are calling substantial evidence of alien life present in our solar system. It was, the Clementine mission, a photo reconnaissance mission basically to check out if someone was building bases on the moon that we didn't know about. Were they expanding them? Of all the pictures I've seen from the moon that show possible structures, the most impressive is an image of a mile-wide rectolinear structure. This looked unmistakably artificial, and it shouldn't be there. As somebody in the space defense community, I look on any such structure on the moon with great concern because it isn't ours, there's no way we could have built such a thing. It means someone else is up there. They basically kept to themselves and just did their work, and we were told not to interfere with them. We were aware there was a possibility of an unknown presence, possibly alien slash extraterrestrial near the Earth. Brandenburg recounted one occasion. There I am sitting in a room of retired army and air force generals and a few admirals, and we're watching what looks like a firefight in space. The most senior general there turned to me and said, where do you think they're from, and I said, I don't know sir, I've heard they're from 40 light years from here. Quotes like the above have given people around the globe a reason to believe numerous top secret mission to the moon took place even after Apollo 17. Interestingly, in 2007 several interesting video were posted on YouTube by William Rutledge, an individual who claims to have been part of the Apollo 20 mission. Rutledge claims that there are countless structures on the far side of the moon and he even showed videos of the structures and alien female who was found in a giant crashed alien ship. Italian researcher Luca Scantambarlo contacted Rutledge and was able to find out more about the incredible story Rutledge had disclosed to the public. In an interview, Rutledge stated the following. NASA didn't employ me, US Air Force did. I had worked on the study of foreign technology, Russian only. Studied about the N1 project, Ajax plane project, and the MiG Fox Bat 25. I had some skills for using computer navigation and was a volunteer for the Mole Gemini project. US Air Force later recalled that I had been chosen for Apollo 20 because I was one of the rare pilots who didn't believe in God, and it has changed since 1990, but it was a criterion in 1976. It was not the status of the NASA astronauts. Not believing in God made the difference. That's all. According to reports, the so-called Apollo 20 mission wasn't only an American mission but was, 
in fact, a joint venture between the Soviets and the USA. The mission took place according to Rutledge in 1976. Apollo 20 was sent to the far side of the moon to an area referred to as the Deport Isaac region, in the vicinity of the Tsiolkovsky crater. Their objective was to investigate a huge object that had been spotted by crew members of the Apollo 15 mission. Once on the moon, Apollo 20 crew members found a giant, two miles long alien spaceship and not far from it, was another, much smaller spaceship. Rutledge states, the moon city was named on Earth and referred to as Station 1, but it appeared to be really space garbage, full of scrap, gold parts and only one construction seemed intact. We named it the Cathedral. We took shots of pieces of metal, of every part bearing calligraphy, exposed to the sun. The city seemed to be as old as the ship, but it is a very tiny place. In the rover video, the telephoto lens make the artifacts seem larger. We went inside the big spaceship, also into a triangular one. The major conclusions of the exploration were, it was a mother ship, very old, that crossed the universe at least a billion years ago. There were many signs of biology inside, old remains of vegetation in a motor section, special triangular rocks that emitted tears of a yellow liquid with special properties, and, of course, signs of extrasolar creatures. We found remains of little bodies, four inches long, that lived and died in a network of glass tubes all along the ship, but the major discovery was that of two humanoid bodies, one intact. Whether or not Apollo 20 ever took place remains a mystery for most of us, however, it is extremely refreshing to know that there are many people who have come forward in the last couple of years giving reasons to believe that such missions did in fact take place and that there are numerous alien structures on the surface of the moon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more strange mysteries and unexplained phenomena.